Till now, we made a lot of starter and we use this type of contactor in our starter. But today in this video, through this modular contactor, we will make this starter. So friends, let's start the video. You must have seen this type of contactor. Exactly like this one, this modular contactor also works. It means you can say that this normal contactor and the modular contactor, both of these are same. There is a difference only in designing. If you look at the normal contactor here, you can see two terminals are provided for connection of power supply. We have to provide phase supply at A1 terminal and at A2 terminal neutral power supply is to be provided. If you provide power supply here, this normal contactor starts operating. In the same way, this modular contactor also works. In this also, there is A1 and A2 terminal present. You have to only provide phase supply and neutral supply to start this contactor. Apart from this, you will find power terminal and control terminal in this contactor. Similarly, in this modular contactor, you will find power terminal and auxiliary terminals. Here, four terminals are there, so one of them can be used as NO. This modular contactor I have now is manufactured by CNC company. You can see the model number here. Let us understand the wiring of this contactor. To provide power supply to this contactor, I am using a two-pole MCB. To start this contactor, I will use a start push button. To stop this, I will use a stop push button. Here at stop push button, this wire of push button, take this wire and to this MCB where I will receive the phase supply, connect the wire with that terminal. Now power supply from stop push button will go to start push button. So what I will do is, through this wire, I will provide the input supply to start push button. Here I am connecting this wire with start push button. At the output terminals of start push button, connect a wire. Take other end of the wire and to this contactor. Above this contactor you can see somewhere A1 must be written. Here A1 is written, so I am connecting this phase supply wire with this terminal. This means on pressing start push button, power will be supplied to A1 terminal of contactor. Now we have to provide neutral power supply to this contactor. For this, I am using a piece of wire. Take one end of the wire and with this MCB, Connect this wire with the neutral terminal. Take other end of the wire and to this contactor. Below this contactor you will find A2 is written. Where A2 is written, connect this wire with that terminal. If I turn on the power supply and turn on this contactor, you can see contactor is turned on. Here red indication is glowing but till now I am still holding the push button. On releasing this, our contactor will be turned off. You can see indication is off. Look again, on pressing start push button, indication is on, on releasing indication is lost. This means for now this contactor is not holding. So here we have to make a holding circuit. For making holding circuit at this start push button connect a wire with the input terminal. Take other end of the wire and to this contactor at NO contact you can refer this circuit diagram four NO contact are provided. These all are power terminals and you can use any one of the NO contact. For now, I will use this last one, NO contact. Take the wire and connect with the last NO contact. You can see connection is done. At the output terminal of this NO contact, connect another wire. For now, I am connecting this wire with the 7 number terminal of contactor. Take other end of the wire and at A1 terminal of contactor, connect this wire with this terminal. You can see here A1 is written, so I connected the wire with this terminal. For this modular contactor, only this much wiring is required. Now I will connect a lamp with this modular contactor so that I can easily explain you that the contactor is on or off. The whole wiring of this contactor is now completed. If now I turn on this MCB, after turning on MCB, when I press start push button, then you can see our contactor is turned on. On pressing stop push button, contactor is turned off. On again pressing start push button, contactor is turned on. The wiring of this contactor is same as like normal contactor. I hope you like this video. Please let me know in the comment box from which country you are watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.